All right, everybody. Video one of uh, fetching the heirloom. So you probably have a fairly good idea of what a guy might be getting. I had to borrow this from a buddy of mine. That was fun. Not really. Whole bunch of monkey around to make that toe panel work on a big super drinker, but we're loaded for bear up in there. Got a uh, brand new battery, some chains, binders, gas can with some two stroke oil. So, uh, yeah, video one. I'm not even gonna bother telling you what day and all that good stuff, but um, yeah, this is gonna be pretty cool. Waiting on the wife to get packed up. Shocker there. So, uh, More to come. See ya. All right. Lights. Nope. Yep. There we go. All right, everybody. We made it. And uh, let me get a big in here. I'm going to stand back. There it is. The family heirloom. This would be my wife's mother's late husband's 81 c10 chev emmanuel flavor and some sort of small block chevrolet flavor gotta get there's a stamp in the block back yonder way back yonder here maybe maybe you guys could see it i don't know probably not maybe nope i don't have to dive in there with a flashlight and go ahead first that'd be neat so yep we're gonna um Tomorrow, hopefully, fire this thing up, maybe, mm -hmm. and drive it up onto the trailer and snatch it down, and then Friday morning hit the road running and, uh, you know, spend another $200 in fuel getting her home. But that'd be cool. I got some plans for it. We're just going to make it a runner. Uh, it'd be neat. So we'll get some video of that, but figured I'd show you this hot rod and, uh, We'll have some more for you tomorrow, later on. All right, y'all. I told you I'd bring you along. Something's missing. It's, uh, yeah. There it is. So, the guy been out here by himself, so I wasn't able to film much. But, uh, threw a hot bat tree in it. And, lo and behold, the mother-in-law had some, uh, two-stroke gasoline right there. A couple, uh, couple little drops down her yap. She fired right up. So a guy drove her out there, parked it. She's a little low on antifreeze, so I don't want to run it too long because I still got to load her up on a trailer. But uh, got the bed ratcheted down since the, the bolts and whatnot are missing on that thing, so that's neat. But uh, yeah, the clutch is all the way to the top, so the clutch is jot. It does have some brake laters on it, so that's a plus. So hopefully we won't run over you know, the tongue of the trailer when we go to load her up. But uh, yeah, that ought to show you right there. The guy was washing the windshield so I could get it up on the trailer. In the last uh, registration, 2003. So she's been off the row at almost 20. And she literally just fired right up. So I'm going to clean this side of the windshield. Maybe find some agua and put down in the radiator so that way she's full. So I ain't got to worry about getting hot and getting on the trailer. And uh, we'll take her from there. So, yeah. So far, fingers crossed, a good start. We'll talk at you soon. Alright y'all, I told you I was going to bring you along, so I'm bringing you along. Here it is, 1981 C10. Badges in there somewhere in the box said uh, C20. was informed by a Chevy feller that that's a big fat negative. If she's got one, two, three, four, five lugs on it, boop, five lugs, she is a C10, so... Got a C10. Guy's been busy uh, monkeying around here. I could not stand that slot red carpet and these seats, which, holy Moses, let me show you. 
So here's the carpet a guy just tore, didn't tore out. And this was how the seats were like kind of fastened together and then kind of fastened to the floor. Not really. Like maybe one of y'all know where this came from. Uh, if you do, put that down in the frick frack box. This was in the driver's side, which mind you, the steering wheel was like with this seat. It wasn't even... When you sat in the driver's seat, you weren't centered with the steering wheel. But it's got this, you know, fancy, you know, whoosh, frick right there. And it's got to be an 80s something model because, and it came out of a four door or something because there's a ah, ashtray. What? Oop, clean. Good to go. But, uh, yeah, there's uh, that. So that was a driver's side one there. And I even pulled the belts off because these were, one, they were filthy. And two, just. You know, now, I mean, a guy does some sketchy shit, but let's get some real seat belts. That'd be neat. So, still haven't, uh, I gotta climb my ass up over in there. But I'm pretty sure she's a 350. Uh, the more a guy runs it, which is probably not good, gonna stop doing that right now. And, uh, plan on tomorrow getting change of Earl, maybe plugs, wires, cap, rotor. The radiator's got a hole right about mm, there. So she doesn't like to keep water in it, but, and I gotta get some fresh gas in it. I'm hoping, knock on some old 80s sheet metal that the gas gauge works, cause it's stuck on like, I don't know, eighth or something. Sure, right. But look at the OD on this son of a bitch. Let me get you in there. 32. Thousand, swing around. Don't don't get sick on me. Thirty-two thousand nine hundred and eighty-four, allegedly. But I watched a lot of Ice Grip Garage feller, and he says, you know, look at the seats. Well, couldn't do that because the seats were. Well, look at these these pedals though. I mean, that, that's the clutch, which I'm not a real fan of. But that doesn't even have a lot of wear on it. The brake pedal, same the, with the go pedal over there. Not a lot of wear on it, so it almost, you know, almost would believe on it only has 32,000. I mean, look at the, look at the floorboards in this old girl. Like, this is just, like, you know, I'm from communist upstate New York where they put the salt on the roads. I mean, the cab corners on this thing, solid, solid. Guy already, uh, guy in the, and his son there already took the, the bed off of it. I had to, if you guys check it in the other video there, I might even throw a thumbnail picture up or whatever. When we were getting her loaded up, ready to go, um, the bed wasn't fastened or nothing, so I just ratchet strapped it to the back of the ass in there. But these are 31 inch tall Chaparelli's, Chaparel, Chaparel's, but they're like brand spanking, loaded full of, you know, upstate new york mud right now because uh i wish i could have got some footage of us loading and unloading but one it was a little sketchy and two guy was in a bit of a yank um we had you know family pet problems issues not good stuff happened while we were gone so fella and the fella wasn't really in the mood for taking videos unfortunately but Figured I'd get you in here, y'all. It's here it is. What is it? Friday? Friday evening, yeah. Friday evening and literally got the thing in here, I don't know, maybe two, three hours ago. Got some dinner in me and just, you know, decided to go hell bent for Sunday. Pulled the old door panels out, which like I said, you know, there's the slut red that I was talking about. Not really a fan. Here's what I'm thinking. This is down the road, mind you. You know, I'm not we're not even remotely gonna even Think about the thought of painting on this thing, not even yet, but someday I'm thinking maybe like a root beer color and like a camel tan buckskin something in here. I don't know. Put that down, you know, let a feller, you know, give your idea of what you want, you know, on the thing. Not a big fan in this. Uh, I mean, it was probably pretty back in the day. Can't really get a good... Good freaking shot of that. So, I mean, with all these lights in there, and that's the one dark spot. Shocker. Maybe over here. Let me grab a rag. 
I mean, probably back in the day, that burgundy was probably just the bee's knees, but I'm not really, there we go, there's a, look at that. Right about that right there, yep. Yep, yeah, there we go, yeah. That was probably pretty at one time. I mean, that's 1981 sheet metal right there. I mean, that's just, that's just freaking cool, if you ask me, but um not a fan of the stick neither so once we get the engine figured out and making sure that there's no belly aches there the guy's gonna be on the hunt for an automatical one say what you want whatever but you know hot rod cars can be sticks hot rod trucks not a fan of the stick plus it's a four speed probably got granny low wouldn't get out of its own dang way but you know i'm already thinking the ls the ls swap but uh, we'll see. I'm trying to keep trying to keep things down on the budget, you know. Keep it kind of cheap for a guy. I like the the big goal is is every uh, those of you that are local probably remember down, but um, every October ish uh, they call it the Syracuse Nationals, a big hot rod deal, car show, um, swap meet, parts, you name it. It's there. She's missing everything in the front there too. Not messing, but it's not it's not nice. Squirrel. But uh yeah. So the goal is is hopefully maybe it'd be neat, you know, if she was drivable by October or not October, jeez. July. If she was drivable by July. So first thing, make sure this thing got no belly ache. Probably I'll do a compression test on her or whatever, but it's I mean I had it running today, man, and I mean it she was smoking a little bit back yonder. I'll try to throw that video in the thumbnail here, or in the video, in this video right here, the ones you're watching. Yeah, yeah. But, um, yeah, it's pretty neat. I dig it. Oh, yeah, and uh, we have zero breakage, like nothing. I just put some fluid in it, thinking maybe gravity <whistles> would do something. This front one was empty. Yeah, those are, those are Emmanuel uh, discers on the front. So we got some records on the front and we got some sail bowls on the back, drummers, you know, snare drums back here. I don't know if you can see that guy over there. Yep. Mm -hmm. So probably going to have to rebuild on those and, you know, wheel cylinders, I'm imagining. But the way, I mean, I've been underneath this guy and brake lines, good to go. So I'm not worried about that. So probably wheel cylinders back there, pair of calipers. Rotors and pads, that won't be nothing up front. I'm just worried that, that maybe that Emmanuel Master is not, you know, doing what it's supposed to do. Um, Got to get the old man over. Uh, he's the mechanic. I'm the carpenter. I know enough to be dangerous. But I'm super pumped. My mother-in-law is excited about it. She, I think she's just excited because I'm excited. But, um, yeah, it's friggin' neat. We're going to get this... This old girl up and running and going and driving and have some fun with it. And then um, once this thing is good to go, then we'll back her out, find a home, you know, on the other side of the barn, probably in the lean-to. And then we'll bring the pony back in before winter. That's the that's the big plan. Definitely, definitely got to get the pony back in here before winter. Because um, there's bare steel on that car still-ish. Guy went through all of his rattle cans just to get it ready. But there's the, uh, there's the C10. We're calling it Butch, because that was my mother-in-law's late husband's name is Butch, Butchy. And when I was a kid, me and my brother used to name all my grandparents' vehicles, my dad's old trucks, my mom's old cars and stuff. It was just our thing. We always named vehicles. Kind of got out of that years ago. But, you know, it's like a hot rod-ish truck thingy. Neat. So, it's Butch. So, appreciate y'all watching. You know, get the thumbs up, like, share, all that good stuff. Guy's still trying to get to a grand so we can go live um, on the 23rd and 24th of this month for the People's Convoy. Be cool if this was running, but not even going to be close. Dang it. But uh, it'd been neat. Whatever. But, uh, yeah. And then, yeah, if you have any idea where these seats come from, I'm just curious. Probably out of, like, you know, a Buick or something. I don't know. Put that down in the Frick Frack box, too, but... You guys take it easy, and uh, we'll be uh, talking to you real soon. Appreciate you.